witch and I hate you. Okay. <laughs> Courtney gave Kim Kardashian a huge tongue lashing and it's hard to even believe the words that she said to Kim. It's a lot. Like she literally silences Kim after calling her out for being a narcissist and egotistical. You're talking about the details because it's all your egotistical selfish mind can think about. These sisters, man, like I swear, they have had the longest sibling rivalry, it seems, in the history of celebrities. You have a real insight into what the girls are doing. Not only, you know, what you see. And in season four of their family TV reality show, The Kardashians, yeah, well, their beef went boom. I'm not even talking about it anymore. Hey. But what made it erupt like this? It all happened during a phone call where Kim invited Courtney to a dinner event in Milan to launch another campaign for her Dolce & Gabbana collaboration. Is that helpful? Like, you're just a witch and I hate you. And Kim acknowledged that Courtney probably wouldn't want to attend, but still extended the invitation. And Courtney declined, saying that she was feeling a little bit overwhelmed with Dolce and Gabbana related events, especially because, you know, she feels like Kim is only working with Dolce and Gabbana because she, Courtney, previously worked with them, and now Kim is just trying to one up her. What's going on then? But she doesn't have any friends. So, Travis? No. All of this drama, by the way, unfolded in season three of the show, but the root of the underlying issue like it flared up anything you do it's about you and about how it looks to the world about you after Courtney watched the season 3 episodes back and Courtney then mentioned feeling like Kim wanted to take something that was originally hers just legit copying my wedding like everything that I did and accused Kim of not being able to handle anyone else being the center of attention and she brought up Kim's behavior even at her wedding like stating that Kim couldn't be happy for her and couldn't stand not being the center of attention herself and this unleashed a heated argument between Courtney and Kim she could never like give acknowledgement of like Whoa, this is so amazing. Like Courtney said these exact words. You're talking about the bull details because it's all your egotistical, selfish mind can think about. You cannot stand someone else being the center of attention. You came to my wedding, you couldn't be happy. You complained from the second you got there until the second you left. So Kim is responding now and she said that she was actually genuinely happy for Courtney on her wedding day and she encouraged Courtney to take a look at why she held so much anger and resentment towards her. Kim felt that Courtney's perception of her happiness was skewed, suggesting that Courtney had a vendetta against her and that she had become a very different person who seemed like she's doesn't really like the family anymore. Like she's not interested. She's kind of in her own world. And in response to this, Courtney stated that she didn't need her family anymore and didn't want to be part of it. You hate us. You, you're a different person. We all yes, talk about it. I don't it. need you guys anymore. And then Kim starts saying that Courtney's friends, like all of them, have been complaining about her behavior to the rest of the family. And Kim mentioned that they even have a group chat named Not Courtney, where they discuss all of the details about what her friends are saying about her and they're just trying to understand why Courtney has changed so much and has this vendetta. So Courtney lashes back saying, it's about you. You are a narcissist. It's all about you. Anything you do, it is about you and how it looks to the world. So you just want to clear up your facts. Take out my whole effing side of the episode. I don't give an F what anyone thinks about me. So Kim then informs Courtney that even her kids, Mason, Penelope, and Rain, have allegedly come to her with problems that they've had with their mom, Courtney. And Courtney, of course, does not like this at all because now you're bringing her kids into this. And this is what she says. Is that helpful? You're like adding it into a fight to like have a side like, it's you and my friends and my kids. Everyone against me. You're just an effing witch and I effing hate you. 
But you know, despite all of the drama, the sisters eventually sat down together for an interview filmed later on where a producer asked Courtney what had upset her so much during the previous phone call. And Courtney went on to explain that she felt that during the call that Kim was using anything that she could to hurt her, even involving other people and pitting them against her. And Courtney also mentioned that sometimes she just really feels like people don't actually understand her. Also, by the way, Kim did acknowledge some of Courtney's previous complaints and she recognized that she tends to say yes to everything, even when it can cause problems with her family. So because of this, Kim says that she's just gonna try to have more balance in her life. That's all the scoop I have for you guys in this one. If you made it this far, don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't done so already, follow me here on FTD News. That way you won't miss any of our daily uploads. All right, guys, stay awesome. Boom.